Alright, what's up guys? Hope everyone's having a great day or night, depending on where you are in the world. And Global just got a new data download about 30 minutes ago. And as always, in today's video, we're going to check out exactly what it was about together. Now, this time around, there aren't really any surprises. In fact, we only got two new things and they were both things that we knew were coming. Uh, by the way, a big shout out to Air Dokon on Twitter for posting these assets. Very much appreciated. And the first thing that we got is the new uh, Super Saiyan Trunks Chain Battle Boss, which is dropping in about 23 hours or so from now. And the other thing are the assets for the Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks Extreme Z Awakening slash Extreme Z Battle Event. So we have the Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks here. We have the, I guess, logo for his Extreme Z Battle Event, Not But Rampage, Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. And finally, we have his Extreme Z Awakening Medals. This is, of course, the rainbow one. There's also the uh, gold, silver, and bronze medals as well, uh, in addition to some other assets related to this Extreme Z Battle. But um, that's essentially it, guys. Uh, Fairly quick video, you know, if you wanted to find out exactly what we got in this data download. Unfortunately, I was kind of hoping maybe, I mean, they don't usually do it, so I guess it was unlikely, but I was like, maybe they could reveal or leak, uh, you know, like LR Tapion or something being the next banner on Global before the anniversary, but uh, we did not get that. Uh, I think there's still a chance that maybe you know, in a couple days, we'll get a reveal for uh, another quick banner, a trap banner, if you will, before the anniversary starts, but you never know. So we'll have to wait and see, but for now, this is literally everything that we got. The Trunks, Chain Battle Boss, and also the Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks Extreme Z uh, Battle Slash Awakening. Now, before we get out of here, I do want to quickly talk about the chain battle and also the details for the Extreme Z Awakening. So in terms of the chain battle, um, as I said, dropping on June 11th, which is tomorrow in about 24 hours. And the advantageous categories are Planetary Destruction, Exploding Rage, and Pure Saiyans. And the advantageous characters are Broly's, except for the, uh, you know, Dragon Ball Super Broly. So all the Dragon Ball Z Broly's. And then on top of that, we have uh, Paragus and also some Android 17s and 18s. So when it comes to the extreme team, extreme supporters, you definitely want to go with Broly's, as many Broly's as you can possibly use. And then for the super team, obviously there are no advantageous characters here, but a team of Beerus's seems to be the way to go from what I've seen on the JP side. And, um, you know, just based on some conversations with people, it seems like a full team of Beeruses is the way to go, so try to bring, you know, that if you can. And, uh, yeah, that is, I guess, all you gotta know about the chain battle. Good luck to everybody that's gonna be doing it. The rewards obviously are worth it. The event itself, not so great, but it is what it is. And, uh, the other thing we gotta check out, of course, is the Extreme Z Awakening for Gotenks. Now, it did make a video talking about this a couple days ago going over all the details but in case you guys missed it and you still want to know what the Gotex does uh keep watching so starting with his pre-extreme z awakening details or before the eza his leader skill is super fizz type ski plus three hp attack and defense plus 120 percent and extreme fizz type ski plus one hp attack and defense plus 50 percent uh super attack he had three galactic donut charging ultra boo boo volleyball and life risking blow so the Galactic Gonad was uh, activated at 9 to 10 key, and then the Charging Ultra Boo Boo Volleyball is at 11 key, and then Life Risking Blow is the 12 key super. So for the 9 to 10 key super, it caused immense damage and greatly lowered defense, and then the 11 key super massively raises attack for one turn and causes immense damage, and the 12 key super causes immense damage and raises attack for one turn. And then the passive is attack plus 120% plus an additional attack plus 60% and 
and defense minus 30% for 7 turns from start of turn. And this is before the ECA, right? So obviously Gotenks got a fair bit amount of fair bit amount. Fair bit of attack on his passive, but he did debuff defense, so he was a glass cannon, right? Like he was kind of the definition of a glass cannon. But with EZA, they do fix that. And not only does he not lose defense anymore, he actually gets even more defense. Um, in terms of links, before the EZA, when he was rainbowed, he had 15,900 uh, HP, 15,900 attack, and 9,850 defense. Now, with the Extreme Sea Awakening, leader skill becomes Super Fizz Types, keep plus 3, HP, attack, and defense plus 130%. And extreme fist types key plus three hp attack and defense plus 90 percent the nine to ten key super causes immense damage and massively lowers defense the 11 key super massively raises attack for one turn causes immense damage and attacks effective against all types and then the 12 key super greatly raises attack for one turn and causes immense damage and then passive is attack and defense plus 150% plus an additional attack plus 70%, defense plus 30%, and medium chance of evading enemies' attacks, including super attacks, for 7 turns from start of battle. So he's getting 150% defense here, which was, you know, non-existent before. And of course, 30% more attack. And then he's also getting 70% additional attack. 30% more defense instead of 30% less defense, and a medium chance to evade enemy attacks. So, uh, of course, that's 30%, and that's going to last for 7 turns. So, unfortunately, there's still a time or a turn restriction on this, but, I mean, it's it's just such a big improvement, you know? And even with this gone, he's still going to have 150% uh, attack and defense, so he's not going to be useless by any means, right? And then uh, his links will... Of course, or not his links, rather, his uh, stats will, of course, get a big boost as well. When Extreme Z Awakened, he has up to 18,672 HP, 18,778 attack, and 11,236 defense. So, significantly more defense and attack. It's amazing. You know, in addition to the buff to his passive and also the uh, super attacks, he's hitting really, really, really hard, guys. He's doing a ton of damage, even more than before. Like, before he was hitting hard, but now he hits that much harder, and his defense is actually very impressive as well, so... Um, just an excellent, excellent Extreme Z Awakening. I know compared to, like, you know, the most recent Extreme Z Awakening on JP, he is cooler. He doesn't seem that impressive. He really doesn't, but he's still very good, okay? He's not as good as cooler, by any means. He's definitely not as good as cooler, but he's still very good, so... Uh, I'm excited for him. Um, not so much looking forward to this, but hey, I'll do it for the rewards. And, uh, of course, a big shout out to Air Dokkan for posting this. And that's going to be the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And as always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. If it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button, hit that notification bell. And uh, that's all I gotta say, man. Thank you so much once again for watching, as always. Um, I mean, until next time, rather. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. And uh, I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.